Hi everyone, you might have seen our video on peer review, uh, but I wanted to take a little time today to shine a light on some of the other kinds of review and feedback that can help strengthen and improve your content over the course of your project. Two in particular we want to go into in a bit more detail are beta testing or student and instructor review and some of the kinds of informal feedback and review you might receive along the way. What we call beta testing or student and instructor review or classroom review or any other thing you can come up with can happen before the official release of your text to kind of give it a trial run in the classroom context to make sure that it's working as it's supposed to as learning materials. Beta testing can provide a nice contrast or complement to peer review where the focus is more on the accuracy of the content. With this kind of review, instead you can be asking people to think more about how the text is working in the classroom setting, whether it's serving those specific needs as well as being accurate as content. This is a process you can and if you have the opportunity probably should do yourself to understand how your text works in the classroom setting. But you can also recruit other instructors and students who are willing to give the content a test run in their environments. As with peer review, you're going to want to give some guidance and structure to this process, but it's really invaluable to get the feedback from people actually using the content in the real world, how it's working for them, both as teachers and as learners. The other thing to keep in mind is that you're likely to be gathering all kinds of feedback and input in very informal ways throughout the process of publishing your book from start to finish. You'll be in contact with students, instructors, potential adopters, other colleagues, authors, editors, reviewers, all sorts of people who will be looking at your content, reflecting on it and thinking about how it might work for them in their contexts. Whether that comes through a formal process like peer review or not, that's incredibly important information to have. It all goes into keeping the book evolving and improving over time and that goes right beyond when you release it as well into what we call post-publication review. In order to collect this kind of informal feedback along the way, you just need to leave channels open so that people can reach out to you and keep that mindset of listening as people are interacting with your project and thinking about how what they're saying can help to improve it. It can also feel a little bit overwhelming when you have a lot coming in, so don't feel like you need to address everything immediately, but putting a little bit of time into setting up some kind of tracking mechanism for feedback as it comes in, thinking about it as part of your process, whether it's before release or after, and thinking about how and when you might be able to integrate these things along the way can help. It doesn't have to be an immediate response to everything as soon as it comes to you, but all those little bits of feedback put together really are what will make your book stronger in the long run.